Hey everyone, my name is Rich Young of Rich Young SEO, and today I'm going to show you how to get free Google My Business GeoGrid maps, saving you hundreds of dollars per year. Are you interested? How does that sound? All right, let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to minimize myself. I know my head is huge. All right, now it's out of the way. Okay. This video here is actually accompanies this blog article that I created. If you have the time, you should definitely visit it for more in-depth information. I will definitely link the video. I'll definitely link the blog post in the video description below. All right. So there's actually only three things that you really need to get this done. However, there are additional tools that I recommend just to streamline the process a little bit so the first the, the the three things that i recommend that you would need or the three things that i that i suggest that you use for this is a temp email uh, local local falcon and a temporary phone number if you open up my tracker here down here and just click right there the gmb geogrid tracker Right, I've already opened it previously, and here it is. I've included the tools up here. I've linked them each. I am in no way affiliated with them by any means. I actually, I've been using them, and I've found quite good, great success using them. Therefore, I recommend them. All right, so I'm going to open up the temp mail. I'm going to open up the temp phone number. And I also have the Local Falcon right here. With Local Falcon, I found that there were two other vendors that are quite similar to them. It's Bright Local and Local Viking. However, the difference between Local Falcon and the other two is that Local Falcon is offering a free trial, which we're definitely going to take advantage of. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. So first thing you want to do is click Try It Now for Free. It's right there. And it's going to ask you to input your information. This is where the tools that I recommend comes in handy. Another tool that you don't need, however, it would be helpful to have is the name generator, which I'm going to click right here. I am going to say I am a female and let's get the names. Okay. Let's go with Pearl French. I like that name. Pretty cool name. Okay. So I'm going to input the data. Pearl French for business agency name. I just use the same name. Pearl French. Number of locations, just one. Email address in this field here. I'm going to copy the temp email that's assigned to me by temp mail. And I'm going to just copy the email address, which is Varrock 58701. I'm going to put it in the email address field. Oh, and as I'm doing this, I'm also going to fill out my tracker because eventually, if you're managing a lot of accounts or you have you want to check on your progress week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter, quarter to quarter, whatever it may be, you're eventually going to lose track. So I found that this spreadsheet here is a great way to manage manage all the different accounts that you have. And um, if you don't want to download it, or if you don't want to use my files, it's totally fine, because you can just make your own. All you have to do is just open up your own spreadsheet, whether that's through Google or Excel, and just insert the columns here, the email address, password, phone, and notes, last scan columns. Moving on, we're going to go back to the local Falcon sign up page. Next, it asks us what the phone number is. So with the free phone num.com open, I'm going to click on United States because that's where I'm at. Uh, let's see which one do I like. I'll just go with the 541 number. Copy, paste, paste it onto the sign up page. And I'm going to paste it into my tracker here. Okay. Now the password part, 
another tool that I recommend because eventually you're gonna run out of ideas for password or maybe I don't know you have a lot of brain fart whatever the case may be you know you can just customize your password here I'm not gonna use this one just for security purposes but I just wanted to definitely disclose that piece of information that may be helpful for you or you can just use the same password over and over again okay with that said going to enter my own password that I'm going to create. Click I accept the terms and conditions. Click sign up. Come on. Okay, so now it's telling us that they've sent us an email and we just need to verify it. I'm going to go back to the temp mail right here. And look, oh, look at that. We got an email from Local Falcon. I'm gonna click on it. Now I'm just gonna verify the email address. Click here. Okay, account verified is what the message says. And now I just have to log back in. Where's my, I forgot my email address already. Do you guys remember what it was? Okay, here we go. Copy. Password. I'm gonna log in now. Okay, it's gonna ask to connect a Google account. I skip this, because I don't wanna connect anything to my Google account. Connect locations. This one you wanna fill in because you're not actually linking anything to your Google My Business. I am going to, let's just for fun, I'm in San Jose, let's do In-N-Out Burger. The favorite. This is where you would type in your business, by the way. I'm gonna search for the location. Let's do Newhall Drive. I'm gonna click on the location again in this window keyword this is where you type in the keyword that you're targeting um for the case of an in and out burger you know we probably would want to rank for a cheeseburger cheeseburger and um so you can use up to a nine by nine grid um they're gonna give you a uh, hundred credits and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do seven by seven, just to keep it consistent with my blog post. In scan interval, oh, you want to make sure here the grid radius, make sure that is one mile. And in the scan interval, I'm going to click on run one time. Let's click run scan. Do, 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 do. Verifying, verifying. Come on, Local Falcon. You know I'm legit. Okay. Local Falcon does recognize me as the real deal Holly Feel, which is great. And now it's going to ask us to select the credit package. This is where most people fail or where most people give up. But I assure you that everything's going to be all right. We're going to scroll down and below is the pay as you go. This is, this is what we're really looking for. And then we want to click opt for pay as you go credits. And once you click on that, right, we're going to receive a hundred free credits. Let's do that. Okay. You're ready to use local Falcon and we're going to click continue to scan results. It's going to scan where, oh, that's pretty fast. That is really fast. Usually it takes a little bit longer, like up to a minute. And um, sometimes like you'll, you'll think that it's frozen and you just have to, you may even have to click refresh, but in this case, it was really fast and not surprisingly here in an out burger, obviously ranks number one for cheeseburger. Cause I don't know if you guys have ever been there. It is bomb. It is nice. And in this report, right, this is your free geo grid map here. Um, if you're not sure what the pins mean, it's pretty much a heat map where number one is where it's ranked at. 
right? Um, it goes from like one to 20, I believe. And it goes even further than that, but it was just designated with a 20 plus and it will just be like in a deep red color. Each pin represents that specific geogrid coordinate. In other words, this, the very center is the actual location. And when you go out here, these, this is within a one mile radius and each pin, for instance, let's say, let's say I live over here, right? Because that's how Google works. And then I type in um, cheeseburger near me, then the first result would be the In-N-Out Burger that we're seeing for this specific location, which is the New Hall Drive in San Jose, California. And let's say you live all the way out here where it's at rank number two, chances are there's probably another burger place that's higher, just one spot higher. And what we would need to do in order to rank higher is to obviously practice sound SEO, send some more uh, signals over there. And to this side of the report, it lists out the ARP, which is the average rank position, the ATRP, which is the average total rank position, and the SOLV, which is the share of local voice. Generally, I don't really pay attention to any of this stuff. The only thing that I care about is the geo grid. Because as long as it's green, that means that we're making green. Now, if it's red, that's a totally different story, right? Nobody likes, nobody likes it when, you know, you see a sea of red. So green is good. Green is go. Red is stop. Let's, let's take a look. Let's, let's analyze. Let's evaluate the current situation and how we can improve our rankings. But for in and out in and out is doing really good. Very good. Okay, so you know I'm looking through the report, and then what I like to do afterwards is go back to my tracker, and I'm just gonna note to myself that I last scanned it on what's today's date, August 12, 2021. That way, you know, with this information, I'm gonna go back and try to figure out, create some campaigns here and there, try to send some signals and I'll check back maybe within a week, a month and see how I'm progressing. And then the cycle would repeat itself, right? I'd go back in here and then I'd create another account so I can check the GeoGrid map. So, and there you have it folks. That is my little trick to getting free GeoGrid maps. If you really enjoyed the video, you learned something, um, you found something useful, definitely hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. If you have any questions or you just want to tell me that I'm doing a great job, please shoot a comment. I'll do my best to respond back. And that's pretty much it. So enjoy the video and enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe. All right.